Woes me, woes me. Cleveland. 2-0 EcoBoost in the big fail. What does it cost you? Well, like and subscribe to this video so we can carry on with this. Remember, hit that thumbs up and of course hit that subscribe button. Help me get the numbers up and let's go ahead and figure out what this poor young man had happened to him with his 20... Uh, 16 Ford Edge Titanium with the big old duo Cleveland in it. That's right. It didn't turn out well. He was happy. He was excited about getting this 2 EcoBoost 2016 Ford Edge Titanium. And he was shocked too late. Two weeks later. Two weeks later. His world collapsed. And let's cost. And the cost? Holy cow, the cost was out of this world, too. So, let's go ahead and check out what happened to him. And uh, let's reminisce over this story of woes and elation now. Let's go figure it out. Now, we once had this young man by the name of Chris. That's all I'm going to let you know. He's down in the uh, great state of Florida, and he had a good deal on a 2.0 EcoBoost. So he went and bought it, and then he posted in the Mac T Ford Edge group. He says, "Hey, look, I got this brand new tit or used titanium, and I think he said it had like seventy uh, some thousand miles on it. I forget what it was. Uh, let me check it out so I get the right data here, because uh, he gave it all to me. I got everything, and uh, I think, as he told me." It was a 2016 Ford Edge Titanium front-wheel drive with 75,000 miles on it. Now, he was happy. <laughs> yeah, he's got a, he got a good deal. You know, he bought this car. I forget what he paid for it. It was pretty much run-of-the-mill pricing for that model year. But, under the hood, laid a serpent. And that snake, as soon as he opened the hood, just jumped out and bit him right in the royal behind. Yes, not two weeks later, he went up and he was going through things. And uh, he had, and this is a service quote. That's right, they confirmed the customer complaint, self-test performed, codes, uh, P0302, P0316 present. Inspected under the hood and found low coolant. Oasis checked and found TSB19-2346 related to concern cylinder 2 spark plug removed. Found coolant present on tip of spark plug. Cooling system pressure test performed. Found coolant pressure dropping cylinder 2. Inspected and found coolant present in cylinder 2. Long block removal performed, disassembled, and transferred needed components. Installed new long block into the vehicle. Reinstalled subframe, cooling system, vacuum pulled, which held, refilled the coolant system, filled the engine with oil. Vehicle brought to operating temps, then performed misfire relearns. Vehicle test drove, no check, engine light present. Vehicle now. QOD or OD miles in 75,132. Out miles was 75,149. So they drove about 15 miles or so. And uh, they got a part number 6006. Now, going back on down through this, uh, he had a whole lot of stuff going on with this. And he got a whole, whole list of parts. And we're talking. Uh, they ended up getting nuts and bolts and gaskets and washers. Uh, more nuts and bolts, more gaskets and washers. All sorts of them. They just nickel dime everything to death. Uh, then they went through and they got, uh, let's see, they had an O-ring kit that, that slammed him for about $175. Uh, some parts on there were rather cheap. One, onesies and twosies, three, four, five, six dollars. Uh, Antifreeze was twenty-three thirty for a total of forty-six sixty. Yeah, you get the drift, okay? They're going through all that, but here we go. That's right. They had some other gaskets, a vacuum pump, and of course uh, those those aren't cheap, but well, sixteen bucks. And then uh, they had another gasket, 
And then they had the engine assembly. That's right, the long block. They billed him $2,654 for that engine. And uh, then, of course, uh, total line was $5,041.93 with a grand total of, let me see, da -da -da, a drum roll, please. Total cost for this, the parts was $3,341.93. The labor was $1,800 even. Uh, miscellaneous charges at $2,707, and then uh, sales tax is $387.68. It brought the grand total of this engine replacement on his multiple nickels, and I do mean nickels because it was $5,556.68. Now, keep in mind, I've seen other people in a group reportedly claiming eight thousand dollars to replace this 2.0 EcoBoost. Uh, woes me, I don't know, maybe uh, if you're in a high cost state that might make it eight thousand. But right here I'm gonna say this is about a rock bottom price for a garage to do it. So if you get this price it's pretty good. Because uh, the labor was only eighteen hundred dollars. I'm surprised. But anyway uh, the parts, the engine's not cheap, and all that good stuff that goes with it. I do not know if Ford cut him a credit on this. I suspect maybe they did. Uh, but, uh, yeah, look at paying upwards of eight grand to replace your engine, I'm um, assuming. Okay, now, again, I cannot confirm the $8,000 quotes, but just be assured that it's possible to end up there. Uh, so maybe you want, might want to shop around at Ford dealers, especially if this isn't under warranty. But keep in mind, he has a warranty on this engine. Now, what did he get? Well, this is a 2.0 uh, Cleveland engine. That's right, Cleveland. Uh, and what they put in there was a... Let me check. I, he sent me the sticker on that, too. Uh, he ended up with, I want to say it was a Valencia engine. Let me double check. I'm pretty sure he sent it to me. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? It was a VEP engine. I do know that for a fact because he sent me the sent me the uh, sticker on it. And uh, they put they took the Cleveland out and they put a Valencia VEP engine in. And I think it was a 2020 engine. So now he has a 2020 EcoBoost in a 2016 Ford Edge. Okay, so now the heart and soul of the car is essentially new uh, in going with that. So uh, the rumor has it that a lot of these replacements have been Valencia engines. Uh, check uh, right up here for my card about why I'm happy my 2019 is a Valencia engine. Uh, and that goes to play into this, this Cleveland fiasco. Uh, with the uh, engines failing. Uh, I will say I do not know of any VEP engines failing. Uh, nobody's come back with hard evidence to say yes this VEP failed uh, with the water intrusion. It seems that for everyone I've you know researched and asked the deep questions for it always comes up Cleveland. So uh, if you open your hood and you look and you got a 2015 through 2018 and it says Cleveland on the side of the passenger side of the uh, valve cover. You got to take the cover off sometimes. And if it says Cleveland, hmm, you might want to go out and get an extended warranty, unless you can, you know, shell out six grand uh, to eight grand uh, to fix your car. Uh, that being said, he says it runs like a champ. He says it is just a little hot rod for him now, and it runs good. So. Moral story is, you know, he bought a car, he was happy with it, then he got really sad faced, and now that he's got it fixed, he's happy again. But he was stuck with nearly six thousand dollars in repairs. Uh, so, be beware when you go out and buy that Ford Edge. Check and see what it is. I think you'll be surprised. Uh, sometimes you may find Ford Edges out there with a different engine in it, especially the EcoBoost, than the model year of the vehicle. And if that's the case, then you know, uh, in this case, he got the updated 
engine. That's right. They updated all the engines and everything with a 2020 in there. He's probably good to go for quite a while and he just has to maintain it now. And that's the old other bag of tricks that you have to go through. But overall, yes. That's what it's going to cost you, folks. That's the trials and tribulations of uh, the EcoBoost, especially the uh, 2015 through the 2018s. So, uh, be forewarned. If you don't pay attention to what I'm saying, then then don't. You know, you'll pay the price. I'm leading you to the water. It's up to you to drink it. And at that point, uh, maintenance is key, folks. But in this case, there's nothing you can do about it because it is an engineering flaw. Yeah, that's all there is to it. It's just outright engineering flaw. And uh, all I can say too as a follow-up to this, if you do replace your engine, hang on to your receipts. Contact Ford Customer Care. Ask them if they'll help you with this repair. Okay? All you have to do is look it up. You can find their customer care number. And I'm not talking the dealership. I'm talking Ford Corporate in Michigan. Okay? You, you give them a call and ask for it and just keep in mind that uh, rumor mills have that there's a class action lawsuit against this going on in Delaware and uh, I can only speak to the fact that it's Delaware because I think there's far better uh, consumer protection laws in Delaware that's why a lot of people go there I I'm only assuming from what I've heard uh, I could be wrong but I do and have read articles where there are class action lawsuits about this 2.0 EcoBoost. Uh, will it come out to anything? I don't know. Uh, hang on to your receipts and you know maybe if the the forces that look down upon us are willing to help then maybe we'll get some help with it. Uh, but otherwise uh, yeah look forward for that expensive repair bill uh, because this is definitely an expense you're not prepared for. Y'all thought the water pump thing on the 3.5 Duratec was horrible. Yeah this is even worse but I still like my Ford Edge. I'm going to tell you that right up. I love my 2019. I love to drive it. That thing is sweet. Uh, but I do have my 2011 I drive and that just feels like an old pair of slippers. You know how those feel when you put them on. You know, that's what my 2011 feels like and I just can't quit driving it. It's just so, it's just for me. So yeah, I like to have fun in the 2019, but you know it's all work, no play for the 2011. So uh, old Lou, she's just a just a racehorse ready to go, and uh, you just keep driving it. So I'm figuring my 2011's got 318, almost 19,000. Yep, same water pump, everything else. So yeah, she's going. So that's all I got to say about this folks I hope you all learned something I hope you pay attention to what's going on when you're out car shopping watch out for that Cleveland engine don't let those salesmen pull the wool over your eyes because hey they're trying to sell you a problem and you don't need that look for the VEP engine if you got one in it good to go for the most part based on everything that I've heard so uh, that's my uh, thing on the on the second gen uh, Ford Edge avoid the Cleveland look for the VEP and if you don't know they're made in Spain Valencia Spain and that's where all the engines come from right now I think I don't think they're making 2.0 EcoBoost out of Cleveland anymore I could be wrong they probably are who knows if I'm wrong just put it in the comments below I'll admit I'm wrong but uh, <laughs> anyway that's all I got to say about this so take this man Chris's experience and put it on the shelf and make sure you know what you're doing when you're going out and buying that 2015 through 2018 Ford Edge. And you should be good to go.